now headed over to get some new ear impressions taken. Here I am with the one and only Ray Woodworth. Ray? Yes. What are we doing? We're gonna shoot impressions of your ears. So I have not gotten impressions done in probably two years and the best in the industry is about to take my impressions. So enjoy. We've got some wax, just a little bit. I'm gonna take that out for you. All right. So Ray just put some cotton in my ear. Mm -hmm. Ray, for the people, um, why do you prefer cotton over foam? Um, that's a good question. You know, I get that question a lot in my classes. And through my experience being in at Slucky as long as I have, I found that that cotton is more effective. Okay. And I'll give you some examples. So if you have a, a ear that's really narrow and small, mm -hmm. you can take the cotton down and get it to the diameter that you need for that ear. Also, when you flatten it, it's, it's, um, it's more comfortable to the ear because you can go in further and doesn't create pressure on the backside. With foam, it's, it's a little more abrasive because it's more porous. Sure. And it always stays to its original shape. When you use cotton, when you take the cotton out, it stays true to the ear. We're going to, uh, we're gonna first go with the uh, Sound Gear Phantoms. Then we're gonna try the Signature Series, the rechargeable CIC. Yeah. So, Ray, let's take these impressions. All right, sounds good. Okay, here we go. So, I think it's important Blaze, if when you when you put the tip in the ear, right? Make sure you support the head. That's the sporting the head is very important. You want to brace. I stick the tip in, and what I do is I let the material come out. As the material comes out, I come out with it, and then I go into the concha bowl, then up into the helix, and I go right in the center and let the material do its work. That's it. Yeah. What happens is, Blaze, is sometimes I think what we do wrong is is when we stick the tip in. Um, we, we pull out too soon. You don't let the material come out. So you want the material to come out before you start pulling out too quickly. What happens, it creates voids in the ear canal. And right now, I can really only hear out of my left ear. Mm -hmm. It's definitely dampened in that right ear. Oh, for sure. Um, but painless, Ray, painless. Well, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna brace the head, put the tip in, and let the material come out. Mm -hmm. 